and thank you, New Hampshire. It is such an honor to represent New Hampshire in the Senate, and I am so grateful for all of your support. Thank you for making the calls, for holding the signs, for texting your friends. It was a campaign like no other, but it worked. Yeah. Corky Mesner just called me to congratulate me on winning re-election. I want to thank him and his supporters for a spirited campaign. I have always fought for New Hampshire, and I always will. That means working with Democrats, Republicans, or anyone to make a difference for the people of this state. And right now, that means overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic. Our nation is in crisis. We need to work together, we need to rebuild, and if we do, we will come through this even stronger than before. <laughs> New Hampshire and the nation want us to come together. They want us to get support to those who are in need. That means more help for our small businesses, more help for our schools and hospitals, for childcare and for our states and local communities. And it means a national plan to get this virus under control. I will fight to tackle the student debt crisis and to ensure that every student who wants to go to college is able to afford to do that. and I will fight to improve the Affordable Care Act and to, protect, and to protect all of our Granite Staters with pre-existing conditions. That's what I'm fighting for. You all know this has been a different kind of campaign for sure. We see it tonight outside, socially distanced, in the cold, but I had a, a lot of people to thank for where we are. And first, I want to thank my family. <laughs> to my husband, Billy, who I think gets the award for putting up the most Shaheen signs. He and Marty. To my daughters and their families. To Stephanie and Craig, Stacy and Ryan, Molly and Hugh. It's been, it's been so much fun having them all on the campaign trail with me. And of course, my seven grandchildren, all of whom are here. Thank you all very much. I also want to thank my campaign manager, Harold Kirstein. Campaigning in the middle of a pandemic isn't easy, but Harold managed to run a great campaign facing unprecedented challenges. Thank you, Harold. And I'm lucky to have my former campaign manager and state director, Mike Vlasich. Mike has worked with me since I was governor. So he knows me very well. And thank you to my great Senate team, to Chad Crackmeyer, my Chief of Staff, to Sarah Holmes, my State Director, and to all of the wonderful folks, most of whom who are here tonight, who are on my campaign staff and my Senate staff. You work every day to make a difference for the people of this state, and I so appreciate all your hard work. And for all of your efforts to adjust to campaigning and to operating during COVID. Now, 
Now the votes are still being counted. I want to recognize the incredible Democrats up and down the ticket who are running this year. We need Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in the White House. They will return decency and competence and compassion to the White House. We, we need Annie and Chris back in Congress. They are a dynamic duo. And I am so grateful for Dan Feltis, who ran a terrific campaign during this extremely challenging time. Thank you. Thank you to everyone up and down the ballot, Democrat and Republican, who put your names on the ballot, who stood up in this election cycle. You are all making our democracy stronger. And And thank you to the many volunteers from across New Hampshire who have fought day in and day out to turn out the votes. You have sacrificed so much for our state, and I am truly grateful. Now, tomorrow it's time to get back to work, but tonight, But tonight, let's celebrate, go get warm, enjoy, tomorrow we go to work.